Hello guys, I'm Meedu. So, welcome back to another session. Today, we are going to see a problem. And the problem is, write a program that takes the duration of a year in fractional days for an imaginary planet as an input and produces a leap year rule that minimizes the difference to the planet's solar year. So, by looking this question, we know that we need to input the duration of a year of an imaginary planet and the required output should be a leap year rule. In case of our planet Earth, we know that the duration or number of days in a year is 365.25 and it takes 4 years to become a leap year. And here 4 is the leap year rule in the case of Earth, okay. Then leap year means what? A leap year is an year in which an extra day appears. So, each year there exists 0.25 part of a day which is extra. And according to leap year rule, 0.25 into 4 becomes 1. So, this 1 represents an extra day which is then added to 365. That is the total number of days in a year. And the result is 366. That is an extra day in the leap year. So, let us consider our imaginary planet as Earth. So, we know that the duration and the leap year rule in advance. First of all, from the question itself, it says that we should input duration of days in a fractional form. That is, 365.25 is the duration of the Earth and it can be written as 365 plus 1 by 4. But here, when we write this program, Inputting this value in fractional form is much more difficult for the user. So, instead of that, uh, we input the value as 365.25 and we convert the value to fractional form in the program itself. So, here the first statement is an import statement and it is required for the fractional form conversion. Then, we should write input statement that prompts the user to input the duration of a year. So here the entire value is treated as in string which is assigned to a variable called days. So then we should split the value inside the variable days. Suppose the variable days contain the value 365.25 then we should separate the value as 365 and 25. So, in order to do that, we use Python's built-in string function, split of method. Here, we split the values before the decimal point and after the decimal point as two strings and store it in a list called list days. So, list days of 0 contains 365 and list days of 1 contains 25. Now, we need to find the denominator as well as numerator. So, to do this, we use Python's fraction method. Here, we use dot denominator to find the denominator of the value 0.25 and the result is stored in the variable denominator. And for numerator, we use dot numerator and it is uh, stored in the variable numerator. Next, we need to find the leap year rule. Okay, we know that uh, 0.25 into 4 is 1.0, which means an extra day. So, whenever the value becomes 1.0, then it's an extra day. So, consider the example. 1 by 4 into 4 is 1.0. And here, uh, we take 0.25 as 1 by 4 and uh, the denominator is 4 and numerator is 1. So, 1.0 into 4 by 1 is 4. Okay, 1.0 into 4 by 1 is 4. And that is leap year rule. So, we use 1.0 into denominator by numerator. Then we get the result, which is leap year rule. And at last, we should print the value inside the variable leap rule. So, let's see how it works. The import statement is for the fractional form conversion. Okay, then we should write the input statement that prompts the user to input the duration of a year. Here, the entered value is treated as in string 
which is assigned to a variable called days. Then we should split the value inside the variable days. So in order to do that, we use Python's built-in string function split off method. And now we need to find the denominator as well as numerator. To do this, we use Python's fraction method. We use dot denominator to find the denominator of the value and the result is stored in the variable denominator. And similarly, we use dot numerator to find the numerator of the value and the result is stored in the variable numerator. Then we need to find the leap year rule. So, for finding the leap year, uh, leap year rule, we use the equation 1.0 into denominator by numerator. Then we get the result, which is a leap year rule. Then we need to print the value inside the variable leap rule. Then only we get the leap year rule. Then we have to execute the code. So here I am giving the duration of the earth that is 365.25 and the answer is 4. So earth takes 4 years to become a leap year. And that's it. Hope you guys understood the solution. Thank you.